Welcome to the Chrome Perfect User Training and Support Channel. In this video, we are going to look at working with multiple plots, how each can be positioned and displayed in a tiled or overlaid view. We produce videos to help Chrome Perfect users get the most from their chromatography software and we offer troubleshooting advice, tips and tricks as well as operational and functional guidance about the Chrome Perfect chromatography data system. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Also if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will reply soon. Working with multiple plots. The analysis program will display plots and reports for many chromatograms. Each chromatogram may come from a different raw or bound file, or there may be multiple plots of the same file. The latter is particularly useful when it is necessary to compare the effects of different method or calibration files on the same chromatogram. When several chromatograms are present, the chromatogram plots may appear in separate forms, tiled, or in a single form, overlaid. To put all plots in a single form, choose Overlay from the Compare menu. To put each plot in its own form, choose Tiled from the Compare menu. The tiled or overlaid status persists from one session to the next and affects new chromatograms as additional raw or bound files are opened. When several forms are present, all will have dimmed captions except one, the active form. To activate a form, click anywhere on it. The chromatogram in the active form is the active chromatogram. Many of the menu items and mouse actions apply only to the active chromatogram. The window menu has several items that affect the size and position of the plot and report forms. The tile horizontally item resizes all forms and arranges them in a stack, one above the other. The tile vertically item acts similarly, except that the forms are arranged one beside the other. If there are more than three forms, then there will be more than one stack, and not much difference between tile horizontally and tile vertically. The cascade item resizes all forms and arranges them in review. Minimized forms are not affected by these items. The Arrange Icons item docks the icons for all minimized editing forms against the bottom edge of the main form, one beside the other. Retiling becomes necessary whenever a new form is created and whenever the user switches from overlay to tiled mode. The behavior depends on the state of the two auto tile items in the window menu, one for new plot forms and one for new report forms. If the appropriate item is unchecked, then existing forms are left in place and the new plot or report form appears on top of them. If the item is checked, then all forms are retiled according to the last selected tiling scheme. The window menu displays the name of each open raw or bound file. The active chromatogram has a check beside it. To activate a different chromatogram, simply select its name in this list. Clicking on the form is faster, but the window menu is the only alternative when a form is not visible and when the chromatograms are overlaid. Whenever a new raw or bound file is opened, that chromatogram will become the active chromatogram. Rescaling is more complex when several chromatograms are present. The behavior depends on the state of the synchronize expansion item in the compare menu. If this item is unchecked, then the plot scales are independent. If it is checked, then all chromatograms, whether tiled or overlaid, will use the same scales. Whenever a new raw or bound file is opened, that chromatogram scales will be applied to all other chromatograms. Whenever a chromatogram is moved or rescaled with the mouse or the hotkeys, all other chromatograms will be similarly affected. In contrast, when rescaling is performed with the scale dialog, the checkbox captioned apply to all chromatograms and not the state of the synchronized expansion item determines the scope of the new scales. The rest of this section applies to overlaid plots only. As in all chromatogram plots, the method file specifies how the overlaid plot should appear, governing those properties peculiar to each chromatogram and those properties that affect the plot. Overlaid chromatograms pose a challenge because there is no guarantee that the several method files will agree. The following rules apply. Plot-wide properties are governed by the first chromatogram's method file. Time and response units. Rotate plot, force black and white, applies to printer, graphic file only. Show sample name and or file name. Show axis labels, span, unit, or grid. 
Tracewide properties are governed by each chromatogram's method file. Peak in event labels. Initial scales. The numeric value of the scales and the mouse coordinates reflect the active chromatogram. When similar chromatograms are overlaid, it is often difficult to distinguish the traces. To make viewing easier, the traces may be staggered horizontally and or vertically. To adjust the amount of stagger, choose Stagger Setup from the Compare menu. The following form will appear. The X and Y values reflect the amount of spacing between each trace and its neighbors. The units are the same as the plot units, frequently, but not always, minutes and millivolts. Enter new values directly or use the spin buttons for fine adjustments. The example plot will reflect the current settings. Press OK to apply the new values and enable staggering. Staggering does not affect tile plots. To enable or disable staggering, check or uncheck the Compare-Enable Stagger item. The Apply Scale Changes item in the Compare menu controls whether scale changes made while in an overlay plot will persist when the user returns to tile plots. The state of the flag is applied at the time that the overlay plot was first created, so it is not effective if turned on or off in overlay mode. Comparing peak heights becomes a complex visual task when several chromatograms are present. The bar mode item in the compare menu simplifies this task. If this item is checked, then only the active chromatogram is displayed. Superimposed on the identified peaks in the active chromatogram are drawn horizontal bars. The height of these bars with respect to the drawn baseline indicate the heights of the corresponding identified peaks in the inactive chromatograms. Each bar is drawn in the same color as the inactive chromatogram. The center of the bar reflects the retention time of the corresponding peak in the inactive chromatogram. The width of the bar reflects the full width at half height of the corresponding peak in the inactive chromatogram. The following cautions apply. The corresponding peak is found through the calibration files, using component numbers rather than names. Therefore, all chromatograms must use the same calibration file, or at least, calibration files with the same component list. Otherwise, the results will be unpredictable. When the overlaid chromatograms are not the same scale, example auto Y scaling, the displayed bar height will not be the same as the displayed peak height of the inactive chromatogram. However, the bar height, above the active chromatogram baseline, will be correct regarding the Y scale. If bar mode is active, then the bars will also appear in printed overlay plots. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this presentation useful. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. This way you will be notified every time we post a new video. If you would like more information about the topics we have discussed or would like to contact a member of our team, please visit our website at www.chromeperfect.com. Thank you.